Getting a license for your pet, that is the big topic discussed tonight at the Pulaski County Quorum Court. The ordinance sent back to committee after justices of the peace heard from people in their district. It would require people in Pulaski County to license their dogs and cats. Carrie Kifora's Rochelle Turner speaking to people on both sides of the debate right now. And Rochelle, it's been an issue a lot of folks have been talking about. What are we hearing tonight? Well, Bob and Asher, there's lots of questions surrounding this. Some believe it would help animals turn, be turned over to their rightful owners if they're lost or abandoned. But some say the cost involved with the license is too much and they don't want to pay for it. A playful day at the park <laughs> for Molly Casto and her dog. Hank is five years old. He's obviously huge. <laughs> uh, he's been our pet for... Forever. A similar story for Julie Blackwood and her dog Zelda. This is my girl. She's two years old. She is a purebred uh, Rottweiler. Justice here. of the Peace Blackwood Black represents Black the Hillcrest yeah, area, District He's 4 in Pulaski looking. County. She's for a new ordinance that would require people in Pulaski County to license their cats and dogs. The reason we'd like to get them licensed is so that they can be returned to their owner if they get lost or. Um, they're abandoned, so we know the rightful owner for the animal. Doug Reed, who represents the western part of Pulaski County, District 1, is against it. So the ordinance is basically a tax on dogs and cats in the unincorporated part of the county. And I wish they wouldn't view it as a tax. I looked at it. You know, it comes out to three cents a day. Uh, even if we charge the most expensive rate. It costs $5 for a lifetime license if your dog or cat is spayed or neutered and chipped. It is not mandatory to have them fixed or chipped, but the license fee will cost significantly more. People move to the county for different reasons, but one big reason is so they can get away from taxes and regulation. Hank's not chipped right now. But for Molly Casto. He has gotten out before, and uh, so I would definitely be for it. The price for a dog license is well worth it. Now, the JPs encourage people who live in their district to voice their concerns about the ordinance. They will meet again on the second Tuesday of February. Bob Ashley. All right,